टुडे वी विल गो थ्रू अ निफ्टी फिफ्टी स्विंग ट्रेडिंग गूगल शीट यूजिंग द स्टॉकेस्टिक ऑसिलेटर द स्टॉकेस्टिक ऑसिलेटर इज अ सिंपल टूल दैट हेल्प्स अस सी इफ समथिंग इज एक्सपेंसिव और चीप दैट इज इफ समथिंग इज ओवर बॉट और ओवर सोल्ड कंपेयर टू वेयर इट्स प्राइस वॉज इन लास्ट कपल ऑफ वीक्स द स्टॉकेस्टिक ऑसिलेटर लुक्स एट द मोस्ट रिसेंट क्लोजिंग प्राइस एंड कंपेयर इट टू द हाइएस्ट एंड लोएस्ट प्राइसेस ओवर अ सेट नंबर ऑफ डेज वी हैव चूजन फोर्टीन डेज इट गिव्स अस अ नंबर बिटवीन जीरो एंड हंड्रेड इफ द नंबर इज अबव एटी दैट मीन्स द प्राइस इज हाई कंपेयर टू द रिसेंट पास वेर एज If it is below twenty, the price is low compared to the recent past. So, if you can see this percentage K line, which can be the fast or slow. So, the fast line is what we are doing is we are taking this current close, that is today's close minus the lowest low of the last fourteen days divided by the highest low minus lowest low of the last fourteen days into hundred. With this, we will be getting the percentage K fast line. Percentage K slow, or also known as percentage D fast line, it is a three-period moving average of the percentage K fast line, and the percentage D slow line is a three-period moving average of the percentage K slow or percentage D fast line. Okay, if we are getting above eighty, that means it's an overbought, that is potential sell signal. If it, if we are getting below twenty, that means it's a potential buy signal, and we can buy that share. Okay. so this is uh, how i have generated the buy and sell signals so let's take an example so i have taken a sbi an example and i have taken the last uh, 20 days data okay now every day i have calculated the high the low and the close price okay this we are getting from the google sheet itself what is the high price on that day what is the low price and what is the close price how can we calculate the current close minus lowest low is we will calculate the minimum of the lowest low okay and then subtract it with the close price say for example 799.2 is the close price of 29th uh, july okay and then we will do minus of this the lowest low of all these days last 14 days okay we will be getting the current close minus lowest low and the highest high minus lowest low is nothing but we'll take the maximum of the high and the minimum of the low and then get this now the formula of the k fast is nothing but current close minus lowest low okay divided by highest high minus lowest low into 100 this we are getting the k fast okay the k percent slow or the d percent fast is nothing but the average of the last 3 days okay so we have got the average okay d percent slow is nothing but the average of the k percent slow or d percent fast okay so uh, the buy and sell signal as per the fast what we have calculated is if if this h29 that means k fast is greater than the i fast 16 is greater than the 9 as well as if 16 is less than 20 it's a buy signal now this is hold why hold or don't do anything is if if this is greater than this no it's not greater than this so we will not be doing anything now coming to the buy and sell as per the slow we will see if the k percent slow or d percent fast is greater than the d percent slow and if it is less than uh, 20 day 20 so as you can see this 9.44 is not greater than 10 so it's a hold signal now coming here 15 is greater than 11 okay and 15 is less than 20 so it is a buy signal so every day we will be calculating this buy and sell as per the fast or buy and slow uh, buy and sell as per the slow so you can actually take this into consideration fast or this into consideration you don't have to take both into consideration if you are taking both into consideration that is also okay but you can take this or this into consideration so now what i have done okay this is nothing but how are we calculating the buy and sell signal or how are we calculating the stochastic oscillator of particular stock what i have done is i have created this nifty 50 list okay this nifty 50 list from 1 to 50 and also i have created this buy and sell as per the fast and buy and sell as per the slow okay so every nifty 50 stocks will get you will be able to get that if you have to sell or you have to buy now if i take the bajaj finserv into example as per the fast it's a buy but as per the slow it's a hold iker motor 
as per fast and as per slow both are sell signals so that's it's a strong sell signal okay similarly if you see the tata consumer it's a buy signal as per the fast how i have done is i have created this nifty 50 stochastic oscillator here for every stocks uh, nifty 50 stocks i have calculated this buy and sell signal okay so you can see from adani net adani port bajaj auto like this i have calculated the stochastic oscillator now tomorrow if you want to change this uh, say for example if you don't want nifty 50 list you want nifty uh, next 50 list so what you have to do is you just have to change this nifty 50 stock name okay this will uh, uh, be auto calculated okay so what you have to do is you have to change this value and then we will calculate this buy and sell as per this so i have done till 50 you can change any value so say for example you are you want to get any uh, small cap so just change this adani net to any small cap and we will give you this buy this seat will give you the buy and sell signal as per the fast and as per the slow now say for example today uh, you checked and this BPCL is a buy signal and you are following the slow. Okay, so BPCL is a buy signal as well as Dr. Reddy is a buy signal. So what you will be doing is you go to the bot stocks. Okay, write the bot date. Okay, today uh, you want to buy. Uh, today is Saturday, but say for example, Monday you want to buy. So you will write the bot date on Monday. What is the Nifty 50 stock? What is the buy price? What is the quantity? This investment value, current market price, profit and loss rank by percentage fallen and change today will be automatically calculated okay now say for example uh, you are following a uh, six percent ten percent whatever profit and loss percentage you are following uh, you get that profit and then you want to sell it so what you can do is you can remove from here and move it to the sold stocks where you have to write what is the bought date nifty 50 stock buy price buy quantity which is already there from the bought stocks and then write the sell price, sell quantity, brokerage plus income tax and total investment debt. And then you will get this investment amount, sold amount, holding days, profit and loss amount, profit and loss percentage, profit after dating brokerage and income tax as auto populated. And then you will also get this summary. Okay. So what you can do is you can start with the stochastic oscillator for some, like say for example, one month, two months in the nifty 50 list and see how it is behaving. To see if it is better than doing the nifty 50 etf or is it better to do this stocks selection okay so this is a very simple strategy to find a momentum based on the last 14 days using this we are able to find out that if that uh, if that stock is in the overbought zone or oversold zone okay so if it is in oversold zone that means more and more people are selling this stock so you can buy that stock in the lesser price okay it's not hard and fast rule that you will be always getting the profit okay so if any stock you have bought and if it has if it started going down you have to keep the stop loss okay it's not a, a no loss making strategy you can uh, get a loss also so you have to maintain a stop loss also say for example in the bought stocks okay uh, this is this in the sin bank has gone by minus six percent okay so what you can do is you can keep a stop loss of two percent okay if it has gone down by two percent go out of the stocks okay put it in the sold stocks and then you will also find out that if in that stock you have got a loss okay so this is what the stochastic oscillator google sheet is all about where you can use this stocks for doing the swing trading in the nifty 50 stocks okay now if you want to edit this sheet what you can do is you can go to this file okay so this file is a view only i will share the google sheet link in my youtube video it is it will be a view only so if you want to edit this what you have to go do is you have to go to the file you have to do a make a copy okay click on make a copy and then give the name of this document and click on make a copy what it will do is it will create a copy of this document to your drive and using that you can edit this sheet thanks for watching if you found this helpful don't forget to like share and subscribe for more insights like this thank you